It's true, I played with the Pittsburgh club, and let me tell you what it was like to be a catcher on that team. Uh, first of all, you were the safest guy in the ballpark because the ball always stopped right about here. So you had no problems. But the confusing thing to me was I would get down to give a signal and I'd check the defense and I'd look in left field and Kiner would be going like this. And I'd say, we're on defense. But he was our big star, he really was. In fact, he would pop up in the sixth inning and everybody would be leaving the ballpark, which wasn't bad except they came across the field while we were still playing. <laughs> it was like, come on, lady, get away, I gotta play. But uh, uh, it was a good ball club. We lost 112 games that year. <laughs> Not in a row, we didn't lose them in a row. Remember the time we had a rain out Ralph and Haney had a victory party. <laughs> But I, uh, <laughs> oh, what a club that was. I also played with the Chicago Cubs, which shows you how much courage I had. But uh, no, I love the Cub fans. They're 99% scar tissue. They really are. But <laughs> baseball fans are beautiful. But I, I got to tell you, I'll make a confession. Uh, I have written a speech because I, I don't want to forget anything because this whole weekend, my emotion has taken over my brain, which is not really a tough job. But... <laughs> But I, um, I, I, I can't begin to tell you the impossible task I have to describe the feelings as I have. Because as a former player, I know what it means to have a plaque in the Hall of Fame as I look at these great ball players. Uh, I have played on the team with some of them, as you well know, Ernie and Willie Mays. <laughs> I made a star out of Willie Mays. I'd call fastball and I'd say, go get it, Willie. <laughs> and I'll tell you, <laughs> if it, wait a minute. You have to understand that with Willie Mays, if it stayed in the city of New York, he caught it. And uh, I, I love this simple explanation of this great game. I hear all this profound description of baseball and Willie would always say it's a simple game. They throw it, I hit it. They hit it, I catch it. That's it. I mean, and that's the way it is. So I played on some teams with them. I played against a lot of them. And I even grew up with a Hall of Famer. So for me to receive an award on the same platform as these Hall of Famers is, is very special for me. Uh, it is because, as I say, they are so great. And, and I'm honored to be with you, believe me. To be here in Cooperstown and to be honored with the Ford Frick Award makes it special for a lot of reasons. Uh, I'm able to share it with some, some people who have meant a lot to me. Now, thanking everybody that made it possible would be very dull for everybody except me, and to thank a few would be very dangerous. But there are a few that I need to thank. A man named Al Fleischman in St. Louis who uh, encouraged me after hearing me at a luncheon for Stan Musial, where I didn't know who I was introducing because they were all the big politicians, <laughs> and Yogi and me never got on the other side of Manchester, which was the street in St. Louis and the other side of the tracks, and so uh, he gave me a chance to become a broadcaster. Uh, Harry Carey was my first broadcasting partner, or I was his. He encouraged me and told me I could be a broadcaster, and uh, I want to thank him. I want to thank Robert Hyland, who gave me a chance and had the confidence to put me on the air because I got to tell you something. At that time, they were still signing those nice blow-dry, hair-dry guys, <laughs> flat belly, perfect teeth, and uh, I don't fit that role. <laughs> and I was dropping INGs and still do, and if I can tell you, like, it's the story that I got when a lady called me and she says, Joe, you'd be so much better if you wouldn't drop your INGs, you always say he's running or he's throwing or he's hitting. I said, that's right. She said, but say the INGs. I said, ma'am, if I start to say running and throwing and hitting, I ain't going to be working. <laughs> so I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I want to thank those people who had confidence enough in me because I didn't have the privilege of going to college, and, and now I go, going to college, going to college. <laughs> so uh, I, I want to thank them. But there's one man in particular that I want to thank, and that's Mr. Tom Gallery. 
He was the director of sports at NBC who brought me to New York and sold me to the affiliates and said, give this kid a chance, he'll be all right. He really went to bat for me. When they wanted to fire me, he stuck up, and, 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 and the rest is, is, is just, well, I can tell you that it was a 30-year relationship at NBC. My family, I have to thank my family. And I begin with my brother Mickey, who's here with his wife Adele, because it started when we had to sign a release, and Yogi remembers, uh, Yogi's father and mother, my father and mother couldn't speak English, and we had to sign a release to play, and Yogi's brother forged his name, and my brother forged my name. <laughs> so we got to play. So I, I publicly want to thank my brother and his wife Adele, who are here. For over 35 years, people and friends, I have made my living by using words. The smartest words I ever used happened November 5th, 1949, when I said, I do. Those, 1949, and those are the words that led to a partnership, the best one a man could have, it led to three wonderful kids, and they've done nothing but make Audrey and me very proud. Our Joe, Steve, and Gina are here with their families, and that includes six terrific grandchildren. And I love you all so much. Congratulations. I gotta tell you, I can go on television and I'm okay. So bear with me just a little bit. <laughs> my bat and my glove could not get me close to the Hall of Fame. I know that. I'm lucky, I'm proud, and I'm grateful. When I called Yogi, and we talk a lot, I said to him, Yogi, I'm gonna get the Ford Frick Award. And as only Yogi would put it, <laughs> you've got to understand this beautiful guy. If you do, tell me so I can understand him. I mean, who else, when I was recuperating from the, uh, some surgery I had, called me and said, are you playing golf? And I said, no, Yogi, I haven't played in six weeks. He reassured me, he said, don't worry, you always play better when you don't play. <laughs> well. I don't remember not ever knowing Yogi. We did grow up across the street. And when I said to him, Yogi, I'm coming to Cooperstown for the Ford Frick Award, he said, what took you so long? <laughs> well, to answer him, I don't know, Yogi. But we're both here. We're in different buildings. But here in Cooperstown together, I can bet you that Papa Peter and Mama Paulina Barra, and Papa John, and Mama Angelina are pretty proud. And we both can look down now and say, we told you not to worry about us. Look who we're hanging around with now. Thank you.